Morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. A front well to our south now, and actually some clearing. We'll see a little bit of early sunshine. You see all that rain sitting down there, uh, Mississippi, Tennessee, down into northeast Texas, and nothing upstream yet. Uh, what we're looking at today is going to come from this region right here and then head to the northeast, uh, perhaps as early as late this morning. So here's the hour by hour, uh, some early sunshine, and make sure you've got that KY3 weather app. You'll see some scattered showers, maybe northwest Arkansas, the corn corner of southwest Missouri by 10 to 11 and then a gradual increase but a spread to the northeast so not everybody's going to get wet this isn't even heavy rain and there's only going to be isolated thunder in this uh, this is at about two o'clock and you'll notice a bit of a break in Arkansas far southern Missouri through mid-afternoon however Look at what's coming at us as we head toward the evening hours. Very heavy rain, potentially. And really, that's the primary concern here as we head into tonight and into Friday. And that corridor from, let's say, Harrison to Houston on either side of that. Now, these are model numbers, but they've been pretty consistent with summing, uh, showing some totals over four inches. This time of year, because we're not in the growing season yet, that's going to mean some serious runoff, and that will mean some flooding. So heavy rain, some thunder tonight. Flooding is likely in those low spots. If you live in one of those spots, low water crossings or along a, a valley near a creek or something like that, if you've lived there very long, you know if it floods, and this is one of those cases where you really need to watch things. Large rises, I think, on uh, creeks and streams and even some of the main rivers. Now, I don't think we're looking at major rivers flooding but this is going to create some flooding and you just need to be careful about that so from I-44 South flood watch that starts uh, late afternoon actually for Arkansas counties this evening uh, it does include Springfield although I think the heaviest rain will be to the south and then there is at least a slight chance for a couple of severe storms notice that level two risk uh, catching part of our Arkansas counties and I think it's uh, more of a slam dunk to the south but here's the reasoning on that low pressure this is at 10 o'clock tonight look at all the rain on the north side of it and most of us will be on the cool side of the front meaning out here north of the Roaring Front and temps in the 40s and 50s. However, in this area just ahead of the front, uh, just ahead of the low rather, near the warm front, there may be some brief uh, intrusion of unstable air that catches uh, places maybe south and east of, uh, let's say, Jasper to Mountain Home. So uh, Calico Rock, we're talking Newton County, Baxter County, Fulton, Izzard, Sharp, Stone. Uh, that would be the area to watch because there's great shear if we can get some instability, uh, there could be some severe weather. Uh, then we're going to see perhaps a bit of a low in the rain uh, for a time late tonight. And then, yes, there is still some potential for a mix of snow or a changeover. Temperatures are varying on models by a degree or two, and that will make the difference. So even if it snows, temps are going to be well above freezing and no impact is expected. Lots of wind for a few hours tomorrow, probably peaking between about 8 and 11 tomorrow. Gusts of 45 maybe even 50. Temps are only going to rebound to mid-40s tomorrow, then some patchy fog Saturday, and a great weekend. We've raised the temps some more. Low 70s Monday, and then a wet pattern starts to come back by Tuesday and Wednesday.